This is our planet, the Earth. No matter how far we look, something always catches our eye. The hidden beauties and the sheer magnificence are infinite. When we look at these wonders of nature, mountains, rivers, oceans, and the tiniest of all the tiny creatures, we are in awe. Some unknown sense of happiness and excitement builds up in us. The magnitude of how rich and extraordinary our planet is cannot be quantified into categories or understood by our simple human brains. But we seek to learn it, learn every way in which our planet functions, how its resources help billions of people around the world, every human, every animal, life only exists because of what our planet offers us. We learned about all of that and we have become experts. But the one thing we fail to learn is when our planet is asking for our help. Yes, our beautiful planet wants our help. What's wrong? Not so beautiful anymore? No. Our planet has become ugly, beaten, polluted, and you know what's worse? Not enough people who care. And why would we? No one wants to accept that our home is being stripped away of its excellence. Who would want to accept that pollution is one of the biggest global killers affecting people in rates similar to HIV and malaria? Who would want to accept the fact that over 1 million seabirds and 100,000 sea mammals are killed each year due to pollution. We, Americans, make up 5% of the world population and use up 25% of the world resources. Who would want to hear about the 5,000 people around the world who die as a result of unclean water? Who would want to accept that? Who? You. You will accept it. You care about this planet, don't you? You don't want any harm to come to this planet, right? So become its voice. It can't speak for itself, so you speak for it. It can't fight for itself, so you fight for it. It's always been there for us. It's not right for us to abandon it when it needs us the most. It's our home. The one home we could always count on.